If you've just started mapping and your maps look rubbish, no matter how hard you try, I'm going to show you how to make them look better in a couple of minutes. Although there's nothing really wrong with this map, it looks boring. By adding and lighting it'll be much better. Once you're on the editor, place an entity in the level, like this. Double clicking on it with the selection tool. And change it to a light underscore environment object. It'll look something like this. This will emit light from the skybox which you can see behind it. Now you point at and you click somewhere and the light will come from that angle that you click. So you can choose which areas are in the light and which are in the shade. To run the map you click on this item here or you can press F9. Once it looks like this you click OK. Once it's rendered, which I've skipped out for this tutorial, you load up Counter Strike and find your map and load it up and it should look something like this. As you can see it looks much better but there are some areas which are really dark and you need to light these up for a proper map. To do this, you go back to the editor and place it in another entity, and this one you call light. It should look a bit like this light bulb right here. Once this is in the level, it'll emit light from wherever it is, and it should make the level look a bit brighter like this. And if you add in a couple more props, it'll look much better as well. There's another little thing you can do to make it even better, although it takes a long time to render. I wouldn't recommend it because it makes the maps very big. I would recommend selecting only a couple of textures if you really want to use this. It will make the shadows look a lot sharper and clearer. Now to do it, you click on the texture that you want to be much sharper. Uh, hold down control if you want to select more than one. Once they're all selected, go to the light map scale and change it to a smaller value, like one. If you want to speed up how long it takes to render your map, change it to a larger value, like 128, but it'll look worse. 16 is quite a good value. This will make your map look a bit more like this. As you can see, they're a bit sharper. Uh, probably looks a bit better. Now I'm going to change the skybox texture to militia. Go up to map at the top, click on it, go down to map properties, and then click skybox texture name. It'll say something like sky day 0101. On the right hand side of your screen, click on browse and find the skybox texture name that you want. Like for this, I'm going to choose militia HDR. For this one, you have to type Militia HDR. Ignore the skybox forward slash bit and the bit at the end which says BK. If you want your map to fail, then choose something like Havana's skybox. Uh, the same thing applies. Ignore the thing before the forward slash and the thing at the end saying FT. Go back to this screen and type in the skybox name that you want and then render the level and it should be there. And this makes the level look much nicer to play. Now I'm going to place an ENV underscore sun object in the level. This means that you can look up to the sky and you'll see a sun in the sky and it will blind you if you look at it. You do this, add this in the level, it doesn't matter where you put it in the level. Now to get the right angles, you go to your light underscore env object, you copy the pitch your roll data and put it into your env underscore sun object. Where it says Use Angles, select it to Yes. I'm now going to add some fog into the level. It doesn't make it all misty unless you set it to a really close distance, but it does give it a nice little haze, which makes it more realistic. Type in env underscore fog underscore controller and it'll come up. Where it says fog enable, click yes. And then fog start and fog end, type in any sort of value. Fog end, I'll set it to 4000 so it isn't too foggy. I'm going to set the colour to a yellowy, warm, friendly colour. And that's it. Render your level and it should look alright. So here it is. Your level looks slightly better now than it did before. You can see the fog. It's not, it's not really that obvious but it does make it look slightly better. Here's the sun. It looks nice and sunny. You might find two suns in levels which already have suns painted on. For this, you just have to find the right angle so they both overlap. I hope this has helped. Have fun mapping.